good morning good afternoon good evening viewers depending on time and location your returns from you welcome to enlighten tv home of trending news where we publish news on politics entertainment celebrity and metro news today's headline reads Akwaibum coconut refinery nigeria's future bacon if this is your first time of watching any video in our channel we urge you to click on the red subscribe button below this video and the bell icon beside it to stay updated here are the news in detail. When Governor Odem Emmanuel set out to lubricate the once virgin well of agriculture in Akwaibom State with the establishment of Africa's biggest coconut oil refinery, most people had no idea of coconut's enormous potentials. But the Governor went ahead, displaying his propensity to plan towards an economy beyond crook oil, as if he knew that a certain coronavirus pandemic will also bring the world on his knees. The St. Gabriel Coconut Oil Factory located in Ikot Akpan Okuk, but in the local government area of Akwaibom State, is handled by VKS Nigerian Limited, Construction Limited. The factory, which has a projected capacity of proce processing 1 million coconuts a day, will commence its with a starting capacity of 300,000 coconuts daily. It was flagged off by Governor Udom Emmanuel on the 24th of May 2017 as part of his activities to mark his second year in office with a prediction of being a future Nigeria, a future Nigeria might have to fall back on. The refinery project is visionary because of the multifaceted use of coconut, as Governor Emmanuel himself put it. The coconut has over 365 uses, implying that there is a different function for the coconut in each day of the year. In cosmetic products, automobile industries, confectionaries, physiotherapy, medicine, and general catering. Coconut asserts itself as the future of the world had longed for. In recent years, coconut, coconut oil has emerged as a potential miracle food and source of revenue. Some health specialists and nutritionists have asserted that the coconut oil is capable of promoting health benefits such as weight reduction, cholesterol love, lowering, prevention of cardiovascular disease, and anti-inflammatory effect, among others. The refinery project, which is currently near completion, has enjoyed the support of host companies and communities, implying that they ascended to the governor's charge when issued for the cooperation of youth in Ikot Abasi, Palenin, and Eastern Obolo, and surrounded, sounded a note of warning to the leaders of the community to resist the temptation of harassing the contractors in order not to frustrate the process, progress of the factory as a deal during the flag off. The State House of Assembly member for Ikot Abasi to Eastern Obolo, Honorable. Udwak Ududo had registered the gratitude of his people to the governor for keeping his electoral promise for providing employment opportunities to indigents of the area and assured of a pact of peace. Indeed, the employment opportunities have been encouraged and quite encouraging. The project manager, Mr. Alpa, Hill Max affirmed that even though at 80% completion no fewer than 1,000 people had been engaged at various stages of the project execution which is currently at the state of production line installation. Before the current pandemic, some production lines had arrived and installations were underway, albeit pampered, hampered by the coronavirus lockdown. This writer visited the coconut refinery project and works had indeed reached an advanced stage 
and indigent of the community and assistant safety officer of the project site. Onyime Oliver expressed gratitude to Governor Udomi Manuel for having the once neglected Mparenin in his development plan, which has granted youth of the community the opportunity to use the knowledge and skills acquired in school to work. The warehouse manager, Ibanga Nsisong, averred the project as the first of its kind in the West Africa, which will rescue over 5,000 unemployed youth from awarding of contract to direct and indirect labor. Other workers recounted the challenging and challenges of job of hunting faced before the project commenced and decried the project as a welcome development that will engage and create wealth for the youth of the community as well as the people of Aquibum State. But the health and safety supervisor, Mr. Nierkan Samuel Peter, went a step further when he thanked the state governor for always releasing funds for equipment to ensure an accident-free working environment and prayed for the sustainability of the project beyond the lifespan of the present administration. The refinery itself, according to the managing director of VKS Nigeria Construction Limited, Onu Kumara, sits on a total landmass of 78,487 square meters a marked for the refinery and this future shows this further shows the seriousness at a time when oil from coconut is more expensive than crude oil aggressive construction began in 2017 after the flag off and on September 2015 125 2018, Governor Udomi Manuel inspected the level of work at the coconut refinery site. Impressed at the pace of work, Governor Udomi Manuel explained that the foreign market is already ready for the produce of the refinery and described the project as the biggest in Africa and other projects of his administration that will elevate the use of Aquibum State. Speaking with newsmen shortly after the inspection, Governor Dom Emmanuel explained that the facility will employ thousands across the state and that the revenue from coconut oil surpasses the revenue from crude oil daily. He further affirmed that the refinery, which will also process palm kernel, will give birth to smaller factories that will process other parts of the coconut fruit. The facility boasts of administrative office, production areas, technical space, industrial firefighting system, water treatment plan, effluent treatment plan, and residential quarters for technical and managerial staff, as well as green parking areas for tractors carrying raw material. If the factory is built to process and refine over 1 million coconut daily, is the state ready to provide the raw material to fit the production? There is the state coconut plantation on 11,000 hectares of land at the eastern Obolo Ikot Abasim Paranin axis of the state, which is meant to accommodate over 2 million coconut trees. Already, a clarion call has been sounded to all farmers in the state to cultivate coconut as it will be a major revenue spinner in the state economy in few months. To show the imperative of this, the state government a few months ago directed all local government authorities in the state to dedicate at least 50%, 50 hectares of land for the cultivation of coconut, while 230 public schools were also directed to plant at least 300 coconut trees in their respective premises. But all of this will still not be enough to feed the factory, meaning that all the coconut produced in Nigeria and neighboring African countries will have to find their ways to the emerging coconut processing hub. Following his visit to the state recently, renowned journalist and columnist Sam Omatasea had this to say about the refinery in a piece titled The Udom Challenge, 
published in the national newspaper of March 16, 2020 for a foreign for a region that steams with forest. It is open for work. The St. Gabriel Coconut Refinery is still under construction with work at advanced stage. It plans to refine 300,000 coconuts a day. This hub will stop agricultural work and employment to feed the abuse of factory needs all over the state. Governor Emmanuel thoughts his completion agenda. He has challenged himself to set up an infrastructural work which is one thing, to turn them into fruit is yet another. Harvest, however, are food already. Governor Dom Emanuel has indeed shown that his industrialization agenda in Aquaibom is not a hoax. At least, the giant flying birds, Ibom Air, attests to the sincerity and commitment of his administration to match policies with actions. Apart from the King Flower Mills, the Jubilee Strings Manufacturing Company, Lion Plywood to Timber Manufacturing Company, the Rice Mill, Metering Solution Company, among other industries established by Governor Odom Emanuel's administration, the Coconut Refinery is one that will contribute to skyrocketing the economy of a Kwaibom state as it gives hope to individual coconut farmers as a ready market for their farm produce and offer direct and indirect benefits to several others. This feed the work of Frank Herbert that good governance never depend upon laws but upon the personal qualities of those who govern. Thank you very much for watching this video to the end. God bless you. I just want to drop your comment again to hear from you. Don't fail to hit on the red subscribe button below this video and the bell icon beside it to stay updated. Thank you.